Gordon, season high, what is it about you against the Minnesota Timberwolves? Oh, man. Um, I don't know. I just uh, shots shots seem to go in against those guys. Um, you know, didn't didn't start that great, but uh, I really want to credit my teammates for getting me open. Marcus Smart got me an open three. That kind of got me going a little bit. Um, and we, we really shared the ball. The ball was moving, got some stuff in transition. Um, so, I mean, it was a good win. I think the third quarter was, was bad again for us. Um, but, uh, you know, we, we, we stayed the course, ended up winning the game, so that was good. But our third quarter's got to be better. Brad said you were pretty disappointed about the way the, last, the things went in the last game. What were you? What was your mentality coming into tonight? Uh, just, just to try to stay aggressive, be aggressive. Um, you know, whether it's for my shot or for others, I think the team needs me to be aggressive, um, try to make plays for others, get in the seam. Um, you know, I need to try to attack the basket more, uh, get to the line a little bit more. I still need to do a better job of that. Um, so, I mean, anytime you have a game like I did last game, you want to come out and just be ultra aggressive. It, it seemed you missed, you missed the first couple shots. Do you, when you start making a couple, do you feel like it's going to be a good night or is it just kind of happen over time when you just kind of look up and down? Right. Yeah, uh, like I said, I didn't start well, and um, you know, in the past, definitely, uh, and even during the season, this season, um, as a younger NBA player, if I missed my first couple shots, it probably wasn't going to be a good game. Um, but like I said, I think credit to my teammates for giving me open looks. That kind of gets you going. You see the ball go through the hoop, gives you a little bit of confidence. Um, you know, getting stuff in transition, some easy ones to kind of get yourself going. Uh, that that stuff always feels good. So credit to my teammates. Where do you feel like you, you are trending individually? Um, I mean, it's, I think um, as, as the season goes on, I think I'm, my movement has been better. Um, I think there's still so many things to work on. I mean, you just in two games, um, you know, night and day. So consistency is it's going to be huge to have. Um, not necessarily games like this all the time, but just games where I'm aggressive and attacking um, as opposed to being passive. What makes that difficult to kind of mentally grapple when you have a game like you did last game and then you come back and score 35 in a game like this? Um, I mean, I think it's, it's, it's good for my confidence just to know that it's there. It's, you know, it's, it was a bad game. I'm trying to put that one behind you. I said it, I think I said it the last Minnesota game, like not to get too high on the highs or too low on the lows. That was, that was a low, you know, but you can't really dwell on it. You got another game. The stretch that we're in right now, we're playing a game every other night. So, you know, I can't get too high on this one and celebrate this one. We got a, you know, really hot team coming in. Um, on Friday that, that took care of business tonight, so we're going to have our hands full. Is there a slightly different mindset for you without Kyrie out there, knowing that you know it's not going to be his position where you can just give him the ball when he's going to make something happen? You guys had to make something happen collectively. Yeah, I think um, more, more responsibility, more opportunities. I thought T. Rowe played tremendous, especially there in the first quarter, um, just setting the tone um, You know, with, with those opportunities, you try to make the most of them. So. Um, a little bit different of a mindset, but but also just you know more responsibility. Gordon, during pregame warmups, you were shooting really well from the corners. How much is that actually? You were watching. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always watching. But, uh, how much does that influence your the way you're actually feeling out there when you start the game? Uh, I mean, I think it, it's it's good to get a you know good rhythm going and good flow going and to be hitting some shots. Um, you know, it, to be honest, it doesn't really affect me whether I'm hitting. I mean, I've had so many games where I've can't miss in warm-ups and then can't throw it in the ocean when I get into the game and you know vice versa so um, I'm glad tonight it went, went well for me. You and Terry and Jalen have kind of ebbed and flowed at, at different times you've never really overlapped and, and playing at this level at the same time right when you guys do get to that point like you did tonight just how dangerous can this team be as a whole? Uh, well we just we have a lot of talent and um, you know sometimes with so much talent, there's just not as much responsibility. I think that's just the nature of the team, and so there's not as much opportunity. And you know, it's going to be a different guy on different nights. Uh, JB had 30 against San Antonio, so um, you know, I think that's where hopefully, if somebody's not having a good night, somebody else can step up. Uh, but when we're all playing well, we're moving the basketball. I think that's that's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun to play like that. So. Gordon, how are you guys viewing this stretch with 11 of the well, 10 of the next 14 now at home? And yeah, I mean, I, I think uh, we, we definitely have to take care of business. It's a nice little home stretch. Um, you know, it's going to be tough games, but it's, it's always good to play at home. Uh, you kind of have your routine, you know, get extra treatment, extra reps for me individually. Um, 
baby is going to be coming soon, so that, that's going to be nice. Hopefully we'll be home when that happens. Um, so definitely looking forward to this stretch. I mean, you had a few dunks, but you are also able to get past guys turning the corner. Uh, how are you feeling about your explosiveness? Uh, how is that progressing for you? Yeah, I mean, I think it's slowly getting there. I, like, I think uh, my lateral movement's definitely, I mean, it's so much better since the beginning of the season, but I think that's that's pretty close to where it was. I think vertically I still have a little ways to go. Um, you know, my ankle's a little sore right now. Uh, but and I think in April and, and, and May it'll be better than it is right now. So, I mean, I'm still doing stuff for my ankle every day, um, trying to get it better. You know, it's so much the nature of the injury, so I mean, it's, it's getting better.